the book of James 2, 1 through 4, that says, My dear brothers and sisters, how can you claim to have faith in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ if you favor some people over others? For example, suppose someone comes into your meeting dressed in fancy clothes and expensive jewelry, and another comes in who is poor and dressed in dirty clothes. If you give special attention and a good seat to the rich person, but say to the poor one, you can stand over there or else sit on the floor, but doesn't this discrimination show that your judgments are guided by evil motives? And today, I'm just grateful for, you know, everything for my wife, my kids, um, just everything. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful today for, for just God placing so many like good, amazing people in my life. Really, you know, I, um, I really feel blessed, you know, to, 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 for instance, to just wake up every morning and to worship with you all, you know what I mean? Um, just. Yes, I I just grateful for that. That's that's to me, your your village and your community is so important, you know. And um, I I could say that I feel truly blessed by the community that God has blessed me with. You know, I, like I just I I feel really blessed about that. Um, but in this particular verse, this is pretty straightforward. What James was saying, you know, and I think that um that. You know, you don't you don't give favor to, to, to anybody. Like you treat when you when you genuinely love humans and <laughs> just love people, you know what I mean? Like you 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 don't favor one over the next, you know, or you don't you don't think that that, that one person is better than the other just because they may seem to be more successful or you know, like I mean you know, I you know I'd be um transparent with, with these with a lot of stuff going on in my life because it's just end up being relative right so i had a situation yesterday and it was it was funny because it was a is it's a form of racism but it's racism almost between people of their own color, you know? And and to me, you know, it, it don't matter what color you are, what nationality, what race. Like, that kind of stuff never mattered to me, you know? But I watch, you know, basically like somebody say that they don't trust their own people, you know? And, like, they, they literally had no reason to do it. And it was, it was over, like, it was a business deal, you know? And it was... and. It was it was just funny, you know, that the person basically said at the end, after they said what they said and did what they did or whatever, the other party involved with the deal and me was talking after and you know, he said something very profound to me. He said, um, they don't trust people that look like them. And I it I sort of had to step back and I was like, you know, like what? You know, and he was like, Yeah, you know, they they that's usually a reflection of you know, the type of person that they are and their character. So when you see someone who speaks like that, you know, you sometimes have to put up your defense mechanism because, like, if if they think that everyone who looks like them is a thief, they've probably stolen before, you know? <laughs> they feel they, they, they put themselves on guard because of what they're capable of. And, you know, it's, it's <laughs> it was so funny to me in that, in that situation and I, I, I put a lot of thought into that because it, it just I just didn't understand it. You know, I just really didn't understand it. But that's just how some people are. You know what I mean? But being a Christian and I couldn't expect nothing much out of them because I can't say what their faith is or whatever. But you know, as a Christian there's certain things and certain principles about you that should always just shine through and just should always like sort of like exemplify itself, you know what I mean? And one of those be the way that you treat people and the way that you don't judge people. You know what I mean? Like sorry. <laughs> that's you know, that's just it's just certain things. Like you you will tell by how judgmental someone is about you, like how their relationship is with God. You know? Like God didn't pick favorites. 
You know, he gave the Jews and the Gentiles the opportunity to get into heaven. You know, and so this verse in particular, you know, it just it just is one of those reminders that's just telling us that, you know, you don't treat anybody different. You know, like Jesus didn't favor some people over the next. You know, he healed the sick and the blind. You know, he he, he spent his time around criminals and robbers and per and sinners. You know, he didn't he didn't go and just spend and dedicate his time to being around the persons who was like the super hyper religious ones back in the day, which they you know they had plenty of. You know, he spent his time with the persons who need it. You know, and I think that that's something that we should just be reminded of. You know, like sometimes the persons who who need us the most are the ones that have been sort of rejected from society, or the ones that who don't look like us, or the ones who you know who 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 don't think like us. You know, sometimes they just need to be the ones that we pour the most into. But anyway, sorry, again, I I um <laughs> didn't want to talk too long. But I'm Carrie, and I relinquish my mic. Thank you. Have a blessed day, everyone.